Michael here. Now, about two months ago, I've got myself another keyboard. And it's one of those keyboards that I have been looking for for quite some time. And now, here it is. The Casio SK-1 sampling keyboard. Now, this, um, this Casio SK-1, I think was released at around 1985. And it's one of those keyboards that had features that not a lot of keyboards had back then. And that is the onboard sampling. As you can see on this keyboard, you have a um, built-in microphone so that you can sample your own voice or you can sample something else in the background. Although the thing about these keyboards is that the sampling time is not that long. I'm guessing that the sampling time is about three seconds long. But still, it's a great feature to have, especially back in its day. And I myself had lots of fun messing around with the onboard sampling, as it's quite a really fun feature to mess around with, with keyboards like this. Now, a little bit on how I've got this keyboard. Um, my colleague, who also works at Bonners, his name is Simon, he one day had a clear up in his house, um, up in his loft, and um, he happened to find this keyboard. And himself, knowing that I'm a keyboard collector, sold it to me. So now I can finally take this keyboard off my list of keyboards to find. So, thank you very much Simon, for selling me this keyboard. I've had, I've had lots of fun messing around with it and messing around with the different features and that, which I'll show you on this video. So first of all, of this video of this Casio SK-1 keyboard, first of all I'm going to start with a quick tutorial of this keyboard, and then after that I'll be showing the sounds. After the sounds I'll be showing you the rhythm, so, um, rhythm styles, and then finally I'll be showing you the built-in demonstration song. So first of all, here is the tutorial of the Casio SK-1 sampling keyboard. Thank you very much for watching and hope you enjoy. Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial of the Casio SK-1 sampling keyboard. Um, the first thing that I want to show you is these um, different modes here. We have normal, solo one, solo two, and chord. So this is normal. And then we have solo one, which makes the keyboard monophonic. And then we have solo two, I'm not sure what the difference is between solo one and two, but to me, it just works the same way to me. I'm not sure what the difference is. And then we have chord, which basically um, you can control um, the rhythms. So those are the modes. And also with the um, rhythms, we have you have these like different chords up here on the the right hand side of the keyboard on on top here, and um, we can select um, a chord, say C for example, and then up here we can actually change the different sort of chords like major, minor, major seventh, etc. And these, these apply to different chords as well. So let's say we take a D chord, for example. Or an F, for example.
So there's um like you can control different chords with these and then changing them on the left on the right hand side like that for example. But you can also do the same thing with the um, left hand. But mainly major and minor and major and minor seventh chords. And let's try a different rhythm. Um, now, to, in order to select a um, different rhythm, there are 11 rhythm styles in total on this keyboard. Um, if you look down there where my finger is, these um, are the different rhythm styles. And in order to change a different rhythm, we press the rhythm select button here. And then with these keys that are assigned to a rhythm style, we can change a different rhythm. And in order to stop the chord, you can press these, this key. And that just stops the chord. And all that's playing is the rhythms. And also for each rhythm, you have a fill-in. So that is the mode and the rhythm controls. Okay, so now the next thing that I want to show you is the sound controls. Well, on this keyboard you have eight sounds in total. The piano, the brass ensemble, trumpet, flute, human voice, synth drums, pipe organ, and jazz organ. Also, we have this synthesizer function, which I will go through you um, go, go through with you soon on this video. And then we have the sampling, which um, I haven't sampled anything on it yet, but I will go through that with you later on in this video. First of all, with the um, sound controls, let's just um, select a sound, let's say brass ensemble, for example. And then we have these different controls. We have portamento, and then we have vibrato. Hopefully the um, camera will pick up the um, difference. So let's um, do another sound. Let's say a flute. Oh, there you go. No vibrato. With vibrato. Let's try another sound. I can actually hear the difference. And then we have here envelope or envelope select. Um, on these um, keys here, as you can, you can see um, on top of the um, chords, we have these different envelopes in which we can select. So let's say um, there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. There's 13 altogether to um, choose from. So we select one. So this one, for example. which gives it a sustain effect. Or we'll let's say another one, like this one. Sounds like a sort of a, a delayed sound. Um, let's try another sound. Or well, this one. Or 
on this one the sound stops so suddenly when you let go of the keys and let's try one more So those are the envelope um, select. And now we have here the synthesizer sound. Let's just turn the keyboard off to put it back to normal. That's better. And then we have this synthesizing button here. If you look down the bottom of the keyboard, um, just above the names of the rhythms here, we have these different numbers in which we can change the synthesizer. So we'd take like this, um, there's 16, 8, 5, 1 third. I'm not sure what the numbers mean, but it, ch it just changes the sound. Let's mess around with it some more. So with that, you're not just restricted to the eight sounds here, with the synthesizing and the synthesizer sounds, you can have all sorts of different sounds here. Which I think is a pretty fun feature to mess around with. So you can get all sorts of like different synthesizer sounds. And that is the sounds and the sound controls. Okay, so the next thing that I want to show you is the record feature and the playback features. So first of all, we're going to um, put the keyboard on record. And now the keyboard waits for us to um, play the keyboard so that it can record what we play. So I'm going to just play something for you quick so that the keyboard will record it. put it back onto play and then we can play it back we can also like reset it in the middle so we can reset it and another way we can play it back is using the one key play buttons And then we can also do a record using a solo so that the recording is monophonic. And then go to play. Set it as well, and we can also 
do that using the one key play so we can have it as slow or fast as we want. So that is the record feature and the playback features. Okay, so now the next thing that I want to show you is the demonstration song. Although I will be showing you the demonstration song later on in this, in this video, but what I want to show you is the features of what you can do with the demonstration song. Whilst it's playing, you can change the um, different sounds and rhythms as well. So here, let me show you. Had it on solo, so I had to change it back to normal there. change the rhythms as well. So that's the demonstration song feature in which you can change the sounds of the song and the rhythms as well. Okay, so this is the last thing that I want to show you of this tutorial of the Casio SK-1. And it's the main feature of this keyboard, and that is the sampling. With the sampling, you can talk into the microphone and say something or record something else and have it as a sample. So here I'm going to say something as you can see there's a built-in microphone on this keyboard and what I'm going to do is say something. So I need to pick up the keyboard so I can talk directly into the microphone and then press the sampling button. Hello YouTube! And with that, the keyboard has picked up what I said. Hello YouTube. 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 And also with the sampling, we can set it as a loop. So we just press the loop set button and we just hold down a key. We just hold down the key and then it picks up. Hello YouTube, hello YouTube, like hello that. YouTube, hello YouTube, hello It just YouTube, keeps on looping YouTube, over and over. Hello YouTube, hello YouTube, hello YouTube, It's quite a neat feature, then the loop set. And also, um, just what I showed you, the demonstration song in which you can change different sounds. You can also change um, the sound into your sample. So I'll show you that quickly. <laughs> That's pretty cool that, that you can do that on this keyboard. So 
that is the main feature, the sampling.
now the end of this video of the Casio SK1 sampling keyboard. I do hope you have enjoyed this video of this keyboard with the tutorial and then showing the sounds and then the rhythm styles and finally the demonstration song. Now the Casio SK1, I just love every feature that's on this keyboard, especially the sampling, which is the main feature of this keyboard, and also the fact that you can change the rhythms and the sounds when playing the main demonstration song. So all these features I really like about this keyboard and everything is just great on it. Especially that how small it is and that you can there's some really great sounds on it as well. So again, I do hope you have enjoyed this video. And thank you again to Simon, my colleague from Bonners, who sold me this keyboard. So please do write back to me and tell me what you think. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now. Thank you.